What's up, what's up, what's up with all my beautiful people out there? It's Nia Phantom back with another listening party. And y'all, today we have Preacher's Daughter by Ethel Kane or Ethel Kane. I don't really know how she pronounces her name because I never heard of her. Like, this is my first time. I got a recommendation from a comment, but I already had this on my list to listen to. So I was like, let me bring that to the top. And let's get to it y'all already know i don't like no long talking in the intro so if it's your birthday today happy birthday to you i love you i hope your day is going amazing or amazingly let's get into this album also y'all i look a little bit naked i can't wear my earrings right now because my air lobes a little bit irritated at my nails i just took off my nails and i giving them a little bit of a break so y'all gotta see y'all gotta see the natural babies today Okay. I scared to turn it up because I don't know how the volumes level look. I already have it up to like 50 on my iPad and like 40 on the monitors. So I feel like if I turn this up and like the music actually kick in, it could definitely I scared. Whoever this is talking, I talk though. These curses all over my body. Okay. Christ forgive these bones I'm hiding. So far, I like her voice. to this song just to hear this outro i listen to the song just to hear this outro y'all know me and my music y'all know me and my instruments i don't know if i ever told y'all i don't i don't know if i ever told y'all i don't think i did but i danced ballet i was a ballet dancer that's why that's a part of the reason why i'm so in tune with like instruments and you feel me because nine times out of ten we were practicing and going across the floor to <clears throat> instrumentals so yeah i just grew up with it and then my brother plays instruments it's just i love it i love it in church the organist the saxophone i i just so when i have stuff like this it, i don't think y'all understand how much chills i get <laughs> The song is good, don't get me wrong. I give the intro, I give Family Tree. I think I give it an eight. Most of that rating is courtesy of the lyrics. That's why I wasn't talking. I barely was moving because I was so fascinated with what she was saying. And then, like, her voice. I love how raspy it sounds. Like, she ain't going too crazy. But that little hint of, like, y'all get what I'm saying? That had me drawn in. So, because of that, it's an eight. And then, of course, like, I just talk about the instruments, the bond in the back. Everyone who worked on this track did their thing. I give it an eight. Okay. 
came home in a box but he wanted to go so maybe it was his fault is the box you referring to a casket and maybe this is what i'm thinking a casket from another state or another city because usually <clears throat> when people pass away across the country or across the world i guess you're shipped home in a box not necessarily a casket but in a box and i think and that's what it is but she said he wanted to go so maybe it was his fault did he commit like did he take himself out across country and hold on we get a little deep already quick quickly okay i love this Speaking of that, I gotta rewind because sound like she's about to go crazy. But speaking of like people, not specifically Ethan or Ethel, I'll just say Ethel Kane. Hopefully that's it. But usually people ask like, Jesus, if you're there, why do I feel alone? Sometimes we have to see it in like a dumbed down form or like plain and simple. That's like, <clears throat> usually people who are depressed, let's say me for instance, when I was depressed, it doesn't matter who was in a room with me. It could have been my mom, could have been my brother, a best friend. Hell, I still felt alone because I didn't welcome that person into my space. I didn't welcome that person into my presence, into my mind and what I was going through. Usually when we going through things, we shut everyone and everything out. We shutting humans out. Imagine Jesus. Who isn't here in a physical form. That means you have to go past the threshold of, okay, this is just a conversation. Let me just have a conversation with this person sitting right next to me. It's deeper than that. And usually, like I said, when people have so much going on in their head, there isn't, there isn't much that they want to do to or it isn't like I, I trying to break it down for y'all they ain't gonna go that far to welcome jesus if you got what i'm saying usually so they feel alone because they're not going about it correctly you got what i'm saying like i just say a human could be sitting right next to you that could be your mom your dad your brother sister whoever and you still feel alone because you ain't welcoming that person into your presence and into your space it's the same thing with him I'm just saying, like, for people who actually had that question and who feel that way, that's usually it. So when you're going through things like that, just take a second. Pray. Welcome his presence into your space. Okay? Okay, let's go back a little bit because I got I to gotta hear how, how much he's going on. I think I give it, I think I can just give it a 10. Honestly, y'all, come on, Ethel. I really hope it's Ethel because, or Ethel. Damn it. <laughs> Ethel game. <laughs> oh, seven minutes. To my new viewers, 
I love me some good music. I love music, but if it's one thing that has helped me side eye in albums and songs, is when it pops five minutes. That's like okay. That's like my threshold. I love me a good song, but when it extended five minutes, six minutes, what's happening? What's going on in the song? This one, damn near eight minutes long. This have to do something to me for me to feel this. I scared. I scared. I'm sorry. Let's see. Okay. The way this going, I might be downloading this. I ain't go all y'all. Yo, I was sitting there trying to figure out what to call her, right? Because I don't want to keep getting her name wrong. Like, going between Ethel and Ethel. This me saying... <laughs> this me saying I could just call her Ekeen. I don't think she won't get called Ekeen. Ekeen, I love you. If y'all know who she is, y'all know. That's my girl. But it just made me laugh. But... <laughs> Naughty Ekeen. The bass is getting on bottom around there. What you mean? What she means, she's the reason he won't come home. Hello? I don't think he has passed. I think they just seem together no more. If I'm mistaken, y'all let me know in the comments. Y'all, I give that a 10. I give that a 10 and that song long as hell, but let me tell y'all why. Hold on, hold on the lyrics are you crazy let me know if you're crazy let me know what don't get me wrong though i can't listen to this song too frequently i love it i give it a 10 but this ain't a song i can listen to frequently free i stuttering i ain't a crier and i'm too heavy of a, an emotional person and this had me like down now on the verge of tears, bro. Because this ain't just a song you could listen to on surface level. If you listening to this, this could have you thinking. This could get you thinking. And I was thinking, my mom, like, even though she is talking about like her significant other, I was thinking about like my mom. All of the people who you love and just having that person you can tell things to. Like, you could go to that person and be like, yeah, I'm hurting. Like, this is, again, glassy guide. Oh, you could tell, like, yo, I'm hurting. This, this is how I'm feeling. That one person who you know, like, has your back. If you're alone, that means that person ain't there no more. Like, you get what I'm saying? So... That's what I was thinking about, just the way she's feeling. Putting myself in her shoes would ain't really a good thing to do because I ain't lose nobody and I ain't trying to lose nobody. So I ain't trying to be like this. But it's like my boyfriend, like just having that best friend snatched up from under you, bro. It's crazy. Next song, next song. I can't dig it. Y'all love me messed up. Miss Kane, this has to stop.
beside him. She is never gonna lose him. It, she don't care. He could lose the entirety of his mind and she's still staying there. How she talking? Sound like he already sound like he already lose half her. Sound like half has already been lost and she's still there. So if he lose the next half, she could still be here. And that's crazy. I think I give that an eight. This ain't catch me like how the last song did. This is um six minutes long. And this ain't catch me how the last one did. It's a great song, an amazing song. When y'all let me give these ratings, I'm talking personally. Will I listen to this again? How I feel about it. It's long. She's sing I love her voice, but the way she's singing it, it's like drawn out. And I guess that's what that's the tactic she's using to really get you to feel what she's saying. She giving you <clears throat> four or five seconds <clears throat> to think about what she just said. I could do without it. It's a great song, like I said, but hey. This sound like the intro. Oh, okay. Family tree. Yeah. Where did deep voice come from? I don't know if I should be scared or like intrigued. this kind of vibe if the whole song was this tempo like yes it's just how slow they're singing it she's singing it that how me like The lyrics alone going going back like two minutes maybe to the beginning of the song the lyrics had me feeling some type of way right some type of way like okay this is crazy but not the way she was singing it if she sung the entirety of this song with this amount of passion and like at this temple like i said already i would be bouncing off the walls from she started carrying on like that instant chills and i keep telling y'all don't mind me saying like i don't like long songs it's the way you perform the song you could be the best lyricist but if you sing in your song like eh, nah, 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 nah. i don't know if you even like what you write do you like the song that you wrote or not like the way you singing it helped me confused. Should I like it? Should I be intrigued? Because you don't sound interested. That's how it does have me feeling. And that's why I don't get down too heavy with long songs. It could be a short song too. If that's how you're carrying on, I... <sighs> breath control like she doing a thing she going crazy and i love that i give it an eight even an eight and a half you go eight and a half y'all already know me and my lip balm reapplying every time i eat it off Oh, 
what? Y'all, I just realizing that this album is titled Preacher's Daughter. And the way she's talking about her father helped me like, why does this sound so common? Like I already heard about so much Preacher's Daughters, whether it's on YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Tween, like, or X, talking about the way that their father carries himself, the way that he treats them it's like yo please please if you call yourself a preacher if you already went to that extent it's like you're in the church you're preaching good news to people you should be following that same thing you should be the last person treating your daughter or son in any kind of way and they talking about preachers not priest because we already know they can't have children they can't have wives yada 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 we talking about preachers y'all should be the last to even think about treating anyone a certain type of way let alone your own children like i is confused crazy i give that an eight and a half as well and i sitting there thinking about all the preachers daughters out there who really going through it oh i know if this say nine minutes let me go in Let me know if that's like nine minutes. And I have two albums to listen to today. I again put through the ring off. <laughs> the lyrics don't look too long, so I presume and she gonna sing the slow too. I scared. <laughs> Now that's the harmonica. In one of the last albums I was listening to, I thought I heard one, but it wasn't one. I feel like I go into like a southern event. Like a fail. And they playing this. How to feel it? I just was gonna say, please. Y'all, I think that I think my favorite part of songs, based off like the general structure of a song, like you know how when you first open it's like okay you singing you welcoming us to your story to your song and then like at the end it's a bunch of layers and more singing you going heavier like you get what i'm saying that general like setup and structure of a song i love the ending where it's like background vocals and you going more heavy or more passionate and i could feel it that's my favorite part of songs the lot of how yeah. 
I give it an A. I think that's like the common rating for all of the long songs. I don't know because I feel like I can't give it a 10. I ain't gonna listen to it again. It's an amazing song. But I can't listen to it again. The lyrics and her voice is what's taking up taking it up. If it's a song on here that's this kind of vibe, but it it gives me something more. It gives me more than we think about eight and a half, nine, nine and a half. You get what I'm saying? But like five more songs, y'all. I actually enjoy this. I enjoy I enjoy listening to new artists. People I've never heard of before, let alone like heard their music. Or something new, okay. Huh? How we get to that? usually feel weird about their father and a whole lot is going on is the same way i don't want to say most but for lack of better words right now most preachers daughters are wild they're freaks they're freaky more freaky than the rest of us and that's exactly what she's showing me she thought she thought she was slick she thought she was slick for the first half she gave me the first half Okay, Muskeen. That get an eight and a half. That get an eight and a half. I was going through so much emotions while listening to that song. I can't even keep track. I can't tell y'all what was going on up top. To whoever recommend this to me. <laughs> y'all are set up. So y'all are set me up. To someone who loves, well, I ease, I ease in off on it a little bit because writers and stuff of horror movies have been going crazy. Horror movies, horror shows, whatever, going crazy, adding real ritualistic practices and like chants and stuff in the horror. I ain't welcoming that into my house. So I eased up on horrors, but for somebody who was an avid horror movie watcher, every new horror will come out, I on it. The intro to the song, give me, like, have me feeling strange, bro, like, whoever's speaking, they have me feeling strange, like the tone, the way, And then it sounds like a heartbeat. I think I'm a little rusty. 
because nothing really is scammy but these it ain't like scary like frightening it's like eerie and creepy i can't i can't explain it i definitely can't listen to this it's day it's two o'clock in the afternoon and like it's night i recording and they still have me Lord, protect me from whatever going on. Protect me from whatever going on in this song. I feel like this song is a spell. I feel like what he's talking about is something crazy. And then the title of the song, I don't even know what that is. And I'm going to try to pronounce it because I feel like that's some sort of setup. Oh, I don't even know my rating for that. This one don't have lyrics. So I don't know what I'm getting myself into. But like, don't have lyrics on Spotify. So, that's a tummy twister, bro. That, that's a stomach gripper. That have my stomach in knots. Does this not have lyrics? That's why I ain't not on Spotify. I feel like this album is an out of, this album is an out of body experience. Like when you listen to this, I feel like something going on. Am I supposed to start levitating off? I think I feel like something about to jump out of me. This giving me Michael Myers. It giving me it giving me nightmare on elm street like you know like that little like the build up where you know something about to happen you just don't know when that's what this giving me and i don't know if that's me having drama from watching so much horror movies but that's what this giving me it helped me looking around like what the hell about to jump out at me oh let's go up a little bit No words. Okay, so all of these are like instrumentals. It's a little beautiful. This this easing me up a little bit. Like this feel like somebody giving me a warm hug after going through that terrorization. Hold on. That little delay right there help me feeling like something coming up next. The next song is something crazy. All my bones gone cold. Forget my blood being cold. My bones like feel like my skeleton is ice. Okay, that's all lyrics. But it's seven minutes long. Y'all I feel like I going crazy. Like church you going to where they telling you god don't love you enough to save you in no way shape or form in no way shape or form should somebody who believe in jesus christ 
a church that preaches the Bible tell you that God don't love you enough to save you. And that's why I agree with people sometimes when they be like, yeah, I don't need a church. Let me follow God like by myself. Let me read the Bible and figure it out, learn it, research it myself. Because the church is a thing like this. Okay, that's real nice. I think I give that song an eight as well. Last song, Strangers. Let's see how she closes. Y'all, like my bones. I don't want y'all think I just trying to get off. Like my bones literally feel cold every time I move my arm. Like. feel especially about that song like it had me feeling this way and that way and then the beat changed and the cause of the song changed and i was just like feel like i was on a time roller coaster and i scared of heights i am scared of heights so imagine how i would feel on a roller coaster that's how i feel right now i scared average rating i think i give the album eight <laughs> lucky number of the day but y'all i did not know what was going on for half of the album you might as well say miss kane thank you for sharing your story and everything that you went through i appreciate it y'all i think it's only one song that i could replay from this album and that was american teenager everything else but yeah, average rating an 8. I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Toodles.